Right, so two very simple examples that I, that I want to show you. First one is square.c. Now, you know, quick disclaimer here. What I'm trying to show you here is how to create a WebAssembly file and how to consume that on the web using JavaScript in the browser. I know that JavaScript can do mathematical operations like this, okay? That's, that's not the point. Uh, the point is we have a C function and then we're going to invoke this C function using JavaScript in the browser, okay? But I, I wanted to keep things as simple as possible. So here we have a very simple C file, square.c. Um, and I mentioned this tool called mscripten. So mscripten will allow us to take a C or C++ application and specify the compilation target to be WebAssembly. And in order to do that, I am including the mscripten headers. Uh, I added this keep alive uh, um, line here. And then we just specify you know, the simplest C function that we have, which is in square, it takes an integer and it will return the square value uh, or the squared number. Now, in order to create the WebAssembly file, what I had to do was execute this particular command that you see here. I'm not going to execute it now because I've already done it before this workshop. Uh, do notice that I'm running emcc, which is the mscript and compiler. Uh, it's something that you need to set up. Uh, it's very well documented. So if you just Google for mscripten, you will be taken to, I think, probably it's mscripten.com or something similar. It's very easy to set it up. Once you set it up, you will be able to execute this emcc command as well. So what I do is, you know, emcc state that compiler, specify the C file. I say WebAssembly is our target. I can also do extra exported runtime methods. So I could do the C wrap. Um, I could do additional uh, exported methods, or I could specify uh, additional exported methods here. And then what I do is dash O square.js. And I'm going to tell you what this square.js does in, in just a second. So if you execute this command, you're going to end up having two separate files. There's going to be a square.js and a square.wesm file. So this is your WebAssembly module. And then you have this square.js which it looks like a very sort of you know complicated JavaScript, but this is the JavaScript file that I will need to load inside my web application. So let's take a look at how I can bring in this square, you know, WebAssembly module to index.html or, or to into my browser. So notice that what I have in my HTML, I'm going to open this uh, open this in, in my browser in just a moment. But what I have here is an input box with an ID number. So this is where we're going to, as I'm sure you can guess, add a number. Then I have a button ID calculates. So if we hit that button, I would expect the result of that calculation to come back to this result paragraph. Okay, so very simple. So I'm including square.js. I'm including the generated JavaScript file in here. And then I have access, because uh, I, I added square.js, I have access to this thing called a module, which is, as part of the mscript and process, square.js exports a module, which then has access to my WebAssembly module, which I can then call in my JavaScript in the browser. I then say on runtime initialize, so I'm basically initializing my WebAssembly file. And what I've done, and there are many ways to do this, but this, I think, for demonstration purposes, it's the easiest. I take uh, or I create an object called API. I call uh, or, or I create a, uh, a property on that API object called calculate square. And I basically specify module.cvrap. Now, remember, cvrap was something that I exported as part of the WebAssembly creation. And what this allows me to do is to specify three parameters. The first one is the C function that I would like to call, which is int underscore square. And then I need to specify the return type. And, and I always mix up these two parameters. So the first one is either the return type for the method here. And then the second parameter is the argument data type, right? So if you remember square.c expects 
an integer and will return an integer. Okay, so I'm just specifying that it is a number and that's a number as well. So return type and argument, or maybe it's, it's the other way around. I can't remember now. Maybe we can, but there's no help in Visual Studio Code for this. Okay, so that's that. And then I go ahead and, and write standard JavaScript, right? So I basically call get element by ID calculate on the button. I then add a click event listener for the button. Um, I grab the value as well from the input box. So this is you know standard JavaScript. And then I just call api.calculate square and I pass in the input number. So I effectively take that number from the input box and I pass it into this calculate square um, uh, a method that I have on my API object. And that is in turn going to call in square and it's going to pass in the input number as a parameter and it's going to return us a number. So let's run this. 